poverty, unemployment and uh, environmental uh, challenges can be overcome. Uh, these are all man-made problems. Human beings created it and human beings can solve it. This is not something done by God or some superpower someplace else. Uh, this is our own mistakes. We did wrong things and created this wrong problem, the, the wrong things for ourselves. So it's up to us now. If we activate ourselves to focus on that, we can solve it. And I try to remind everybody that uh, nothing is impossible for human being. So if that is so, this is not impossible either. Then why doesn't it get solved? Because we don't pay attention to it. It's all a question of paying attention. If you want to solve it, it will get solved. That's as simple as that. We focus on differences. We forgot the similarities. 98% of uh, human being is about similarity. Only 2% is about dissimilarity or differences. So I'm trying to uh, set aside the differences part and focus on the similarity. Like when we did the microcredit, lending tiny, small money to poor women in Bangladesh. People say, oh, Bangladesh is so different. Other countries are different, so you can't do this to any other country. I said, uh, I'm doing it not as Bangladesh, I'm doing it as a human being. These are human beings, and human beings in other places, in other parts of the world, under similar circumstances, will exactly behave the same way. They suffer from the same thing as they do in uh, Bangladesh. I said, poor in Bangladesh is no different from poor in the United States. So, if it works for B uh, poor in Bangladesh, it will also work for the United States. And that I had a chance to prove later on when I was invited to do Grameen program in the United States. We had over a billion dollar in loans in the United States and they work exactly the same in Bangladesh. And the money comes back, they take the second loan and the third loan and so on. And together we have given over a billion dollars loan. We have no problem in that. So similarity of human being is the one important thing that we can work with and solve our problem as a human being. A social business idea came because we saw that the existing ideas about business has only one meaning, making money. We don't have the business based on selflessness, where you don't want to make money, you want to solve people's problem. That's the business we call the social business. It's a non-dividend company to solve human problems. This is different from the charity. Charity money goes out, does a wonderful work, but it doesn't come back. So you have only one time use of the money. But in a social business, social business money goes out, does the same work, but it comes back. So you can reuse it again and again. You can use it infinite times, so it becomes very powerful. So charity money has one life, social business money has endless life, so it becomes very powerful. So I said, why don't you do that? And social business need creative power. You come with creative idea so that you can use the business methodology to solve people's problem. And now it's happening. Young people love that. That's why we bring this idea to universities because they want to know about it. Universities want to have social business centers. And I'm very happy Urbino University is uh, setting up a social business center. And so that they can discuss this. And people can think, young people can think, which way I should go? Should I, have be, uh, should I be in a money-making business? Uh, should I be in uh, problem solving? Those are the issues. So this is something which can transform the whole society and the whole world.